Let me ask you, because viewers were asking me last time, what's up with his voice? They didn't know, they didn't know you, they hadn't heard you speak before. Let's talk about that. What is the issue with your voice? I had a very... I had a very, very strong voice until I was 42 years old. In 1996, I had an injury uh, that caused a neurological disorder called spasmodic dystonia. And it makes my voice like this. And I cannot listen to my voice. I, when I go home, I will not listen to this program. Really? I, I can't do it. And I f feel sorry for the people in your audience who have to listen to me. But <laughs> this, is, this is the best I've got right now. But I am... You know, I went over with my wife, Cheryl Hines, to do a surgery in Kyoto mm -hmm. in Japan about uh, eight months ago, and it made my voice a lot more reliable. And I, now I'm doing a bunch of alternative uh, sort of therapies that make it, I, I think, are they're making it a lot stronger. So we'll see what happens. Because you must be, when you're on the trail like this, you're doing so many interviews and, and stumpings and so on. I mean, you use your voice all the time. Does it worry you that it may just sort of pack up? Or... No, because my voice actually doesn't get weaker when I use it. It gets stronger. Really? Yeah, because it's not it's not tissue injury. So my my you know my vocal cords are very very strong. It's just the neurological signals that are being sent to them are uh, are telling them to tighten up all the time, and it makes my voice gravelly. But I can talk. 20 hours a day, and my voice won't wear out. So I'm not worried about that. But <laughs> well, I, tell I don't what, like the way it sounds, and I, you know, I apologize to everybody. I don't think any apologies is necessary. I think people are just <laughs> curious. 